This video was made in collaboration with the Avatar Wiki. If you'd like to learn more, check out the link in the description. Twenty more earthbending abilities. Welcome to the Amagi. In today's video, we're going over twenty more earthbending abilities. Before we begin, we publish a new video every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number one, Earth Writing. Earthbenders can manipulate pebbles to spell out messages for others to read. The false avatar Yun was particularly skilled at this technique able to form such messages while a considerable distance away from the earth he was bending. Number 2. Magnetization Skilled earthbenders are capable of magnetizing their limbs to any type of stone, making wall scaling simpler in the appropriate circumstances. The Daily agents could perform this move with ease and even stay upside down, such as when Team Avatar broke into the organization's secret headquarters in Lake Laogai. Number 3. Remote Earthbending if an earthbender is suspended from the ground, but is aware that there is earth somewhere near, the earthbender can focus his energies and bend that earth out of his physical reach out of sheer concentration. This was shown in a flashback when Bumi told Team Avatar, without Aang, how he freed himself during the eclipse. Bumi managed to summon some roof tiles and pieces of walls to rip open the front of his metal coffin. Aang also uses this technique to summon rocks for his elemental sphere while in the Avatar state. Number 4. Compressed Rock Bullets Used solely by Aang in his fight with Phoenix King Ozai, Aang disintegrated one of his compressed rocks from his elemental sphere and shot its shrapnel-like fragments with great speed, in a machine gun-like fashion. Due to the speed and density of these rocks, they did great damage to the landscape. It's similar to the rock gloves technique used by the Dai Li. Number 5. Dust Devil Avatars can raise themselves high above ground level through dust devils, similar to air and water spouts. Number 6. Enhanced Earth Armor By harnessing the power of the avatar state, avatars can surround themselves with large pieces of earth, which they can subsequently conglomerate into a giant anthropomorphic rock body to use in combat. Avatar Aang used this technique to battle General Old Iron. Number 7. Enhanced Earth Levitation with their greater power and stronger connection to the Earth, the Avatar can move hill-sized statues at will. Utilizing the power of the Avatar state, Kyoshi moved large statues of badger moles, and Aang moved various Earth pillars in his fight against Ozai, both for offense and defense. Korra also used this technique in her fight with Zaheer, and later Kuvira, trying to crush her opponent with a hill-sized boulder. Number 8. Powered Compression this is a much more powerful version of the earth compression technique, performed only by Aang while in the avatar state. Instead of bending large chunks of earth into a single projectile, Aang gathered boulder-sized rocks and simultaneously compressed each fragment into smaller, denser, and harder rocks, essentially keeping the rocks under pressure for more volatile attacks if needed. Lastly, the rocks are directed to orbit the bender until they are used. Number 9. Tectonics the Avatar can earthbend on a scale vast enough to move entire landmasses, as shown by Avatar Kyoshi when she separated Kyoshi Island from the mainland. Aang later performed the same technique to separate the town of Yudao from its surrounding land. Number 10. Directional Geomancy A ritual used by earthbending masters in order to identify an avatar that has been born in the Earth Kingdom. This technique involves setting various trigrams of bones across the Earth Kingdom, and in turn eliminating each region from the Earth Kingdom until the Earth Avatar can be located. After Avatar Karuk died, many prominent earthbending masters such as Jianju, Lu Beifang, Niliao the Gardener, and King Buro of Omashu attempted to use this technique to find the Avatar but failed. This led to Avatar Kyoshi not being discovered until she was much older and another individual, Yun, being falsely identified as the Avatar. Number 11. Glass Bending Some earthbenders are able to control glass due to its mineral origin. Avatar Kyoshi was capable of this technique, such as when she bent shards of glass out of her skin following her confrontation with the Triad of the Golden Wing. Number 12. Lava Bending Certain powerful earthbenders are able to change the phase of the earth they are manipulating, melting it into lava for more versatility in battle, similar to what waterbenders do with ice. A bender using this ability can form the lava into different weapons or summon magma from the ground. 
The earliest known bender to perform this technique was Setso, the avatar that preceded Yang Chen. Gazan and Bolin are the only known non-avatar earthbenders to have demonstrated this technique. Number 13. Liquefying Earth Similar to lava bending, highly skilled earthbenders can change earth and stone to a liquid state without the use of heat. The only known earthbender capable of this technique is Yun, who liquefied the stone floor of the Avatar Mansion before solidifying it again to trap Kyoshi. He used it as well to liquefy the very foundations of the mansion and destroy it. Number 14. Metal Bending Metal bending is a subskill of earthbending developed by Toph. Most earthbenders are unable to affect process metals. Usually the trace amount of earth still present in metal is so minuscule that it goes undetected even by the best earthbenders, lending to its use in detaining earthbenders. However, due to her ability to see earth, Toph was able to locate the small fragments of earth and metal, target them, and utilize them to bend the metal portion. In the beginning, she was not able to bend metal with the same ability or ease seen in normal earthbending. Eventually, her skill with metal bending developed to the point where she could effectively defeat comet-enhanced firebenders during the battle at Wulong Forest with this technique. After the conclusion of the Hundred Year War, Toph founded a metal bending academy to teach the newly acquired skill to other earthbenders, and the technique eventually became the primary weapon of the metal bending police force in Republic City. As metal bending techniques were further refined, benders eventually learned how to manipulate metal without being in close contact with it, and amateur metal bending students were able to apply this skill to small objects such as coins and canes. Number 15. Mud Bending it has been demonstrated that earthbenders, like waterbenders, are able to bend mud due to the presence of earth within. Toph, aided by Katara, was able to push the slurry from the rear of the Fire Nation drill back into the machine, and the technique was also used by the two girls when they ended up fighting while they were training Aang. Toph also used this ability while training Korra in the swamp. Number 16. Paint Bending Skillful earthbenders are able to bend earth-based pigments, even those that have been dried for very long periods of time. Yun made use of this technique when he bent the paint on the portraits of the fire avatars in the Fire Nation Royal Palace's Royal Gallery, and bent sharp pellets of paint at Chancellor Darin, his men, and Kyoshi, killing some and wounding many. Number 17. Rock Gloves The Dai Li have mastered the rock glove technique. Similar to an earth gauntlet, they cover their hands in small rocks and project them at a target as small projectiles or compacted fists to bludgeon an opponent. A more refined and favored method, however, is to use them as detachable hands, maintaining the hand shape and literally grabbing and restraining the opponent from a distance. Number 18. Rock Shoes The Dai Li also used shoes made out of earth to slide to travel faster and to cling to walls and suspend themselves on the ceiling as Longfeng and the Dai Li used in Lake Lao Gai during their fight with Team Avatar and the reformed Freedom Fighters. Number 19. Sand Bending Sand Bending is an alternate earthbending style that has been adapted for use in the Siwang Desert by the people that live there. They move quickly in the desert on specialized wooden sailors that are propelled by bending miniature localized sandstorms behind their sails. Because sand is sediment which travels in flows, their style resembles air and water bending more than earthbending. It is implied that most, if not all, earthbenders are capable of easily bending sand, but because of the loose, shifty nature of sand, it is not an easy transition for the average earthbender. The sandbenders of the desert are especially proficient with it due to their particular habitat. After the events at the Siwang Desert, Toph practiced her sandbending, achieving a mastery over it that allowed her to create an extremely detailed miniature sand version of Ba Sing Se. Likewise, one can compact the sand to be solid and thick. Sandbenders use this technique while stealing Appa. Number 20, Seismic Sense. A technique originally developed by the blind badger moles, skilled earthbenders are able to sense vibrations through the ground, seeing by sensing their surroundings and making a mental image of it. It allows for a 360 degree field of vision outside normal line of sight. To operate, the user needs direct contact with the ground, preferably without something in between like shoes. The technique is only usable on surfaces the user can bend. Being blind, Toph constantly used this technique to navigate the world. She described it as kind of like seeing with her feet. During his training with Toph, Aang also developed this ability. Aang used this during a three-way training spar with Toph and Katara, and again during his fight against Ozai. Due to Toph's extensive use of the technique, 
she discovered other applications of it. Her seismic sense was so acute that she was capable of sensing even ants moving about, could identify people by the way they walked, and could almost always tell if someone was lying by sensing his or her physical reactions, such as breathing and heart rate. It was also the basis of her unique ability of metal bending. Toph also passed this technique to her daughters, Lin and Su Yin. Did you enjoy our video? Be sure to check out these other great videos from the Amagi, and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.